Hi everyone, in today's video we are making hot chocolate stirrers for hot chocolate who doesn't like them. So we will start by chopping some chocolates. I have taken milk chocolate here and I'm going to melt them in my microwave in bursts of 30 seconds. So every time I take my bowl out, I'm going to stir it. So I really like chopping the chocolate, chop, chop, chop because it makes things easier. That's my spatula. Every time I'm going to take it out of the microwave after 30 seconds, I'm going to give it a whisk. Of course, I'm going to flavor them. So I'm going to be using marshmallows, some cinnamon, and this one's ginger powder. And some marshmallows again, which I've cut in small pieces. You are free to use any size. Maybe some marshmallow and peppermint. Okay, so that's the first round of 30 seconds and I'm just going to give it a whisk. Okay, so I like to use my mini cupcake uh, molds and these are some mini cupcake liners. They are easy. If you don't have them, you can just, you know, pour them directly. That's what I'm doing. I have this cute little spoon that is perfect. Just one spoon each is sufficient. Now, as I'm using milk chocolate, I won't be using any sugar, but go ahead if you want more sugar, you can put sugar while you are melting the chocolate. So now it's time for the toppings. So the first one will obviously have marshmallows because that is what I absolutely love. I wish I had some peppermint candies. They would have been perfect. So I would have crushed them and I put. So this one's ginger. So I am just going to dust some ginger powder on top. Now this is absolutely, uh, you know, optional. If you don't like uh, ginger or if you don't like cinnamon, you can actually skip it. I personally like both of these spices so that's cinnamon which I am sprinkling as of now that's my top favorite now I have these wooden spoons um, which is perfect so it's easy because you can directly put it um, in your cup and you can use it to stir it but lollipop sticks are absolutely fine so i'm just going to put them in my freezer to chill don't worry they will be absolutely fine in my freezer i'm going to set them like how i'm showing you see perfect so now they're ready they've been chilling for almost 20 minutes now and I think I'm ready to have my hot chocolate. Oh my god, don't they look pretty? I mean, I immediately knew which one I would be having. But yes, I would all also demold them. So that's what I'm doing. And... They would come out very easily, trust me guys and gals. It is super easy and you can store this so you are hot chocolate ready at all times. All you need to do is just some hot milk or maybe some hot water. That's about it. See how easy? That's the ginger one. Oh yes, I wanna have this. 
Now, these are like perfect, you know, gifts you can make and uh, you can use them as return gifts. They're perfect. Okay, so it's that time. The taste test time. I'm super scared. But it's fine. I have some hot soy milk and I can feel that the chocolate is melting away. And the color is also changing. I'm not sure if you can see it, but yes. I just can't wait to have it. And also, if you like the video, let me know. I would be delighted if you would share pictures. Uh, let me know if you make it. I mean, let's talk. Let me know if you make it. Let me know if which one you made. I mean, the cinnamon one, the ginger one, or the marshmallow one. And it's done. Time for me. We have some hot chocolate. Happy winters. See you soon. Bye bye. And in the meanwhile, uh, do like the video. If you want to see more such videos, you can subscribe.